Hi and welcome to the Papaya.com's Team of the Year. We've watched a long season of Dialogue Rugby A Division League action and we've picked who we think are the top 15 players in their positions in this Dialogue Rugby A Division League. Now the Papaya.com, this is just our opinion. It's not a fact that these guys are the best players and there are a few players that we had immense debates before picking the ones that we did pick. So uh, this doesn't mean that, uh, that this is uh, something that has to be taken as gospel, but it's our opinion on the players that impressed over the course of this season. We start at the top and uh, at loose head prop we have Kishore Jehan, the prop from Kandy. He scored three tries and he's been outstanding in the loose as well as a really good scrummager in Kandy's newly found set piece. Then we have Prasad Madhushankar. He was an absolute hero for Havelocks in terms of try scoring. He scored a hat-trick in one game and four tries in the game against uh, CRNFC and he scored a massive 12 tries and the highest point scorer of the season is Prasad Madhushankar and he uh, deserves a place especially because the line out throwing has been pretty good in what has been a fairly uh, generally bad season for line-out throwing hookers. Dushman the Priyadarshan and his front row buddy joins him as well. The Havelock's uh, player has been really outstanding once again in his work rate. He has doing, been doing a lot of defensive work as well as scoring tries. So seven tries for Dushman the Priyadarshan as well. So Havelock scoring 19 tries through their two front row forwards. That's an outstanding uh, statistic for them. Uh, then we have the hard-working Suri Anthony who uh, has taken his place in the second row at Kandy and has been part of that really good tight five that Sean Vijay Singh has built his championship uh, team on. He's outstanding in the line-out, doesn't do a lot of the flash work, but he does some really hard graft work and that's why we've picked him. Uh, Danushka Pereira has been uh, very good for uh, Navy. He's played on the blind side flank, but we are moving him into the second row because there aren't really other second rows that have been outstanding this season. There have been a few who are good and uh, some who have not played enough games. So therefore, we've picked Tanushka Pereira in the second row position. And uh, because we have to, we have some back row players that uh, will generate some debate as well. We've moved Rajesh Asaniviratna to number six on the blind side flank. He's a guy who can play as a fetcher. He's a guy who can play as a number eight as well. But we've moved him uh, to the blind side to hopefully uh, uh, think that he won't give as many yellow cards in uh, this position. Sudarshan Mutatantri, also a guy that needs to watch his discipline. He has been a guy who has been given uh, giving quite a few yellow cards as well over the course of the season. But in terms of fitness, in terms of work rate, in terms of ball carrying, as well as defensive work. We picked him as number seven because there haven't been any real other contenders. And Buoneka Udangamu, the makeshift number eight, has uh, been a Sri Lanka number eight last season as well. And we've picked him because none of the other number eights have really impressed. Bilal Hassan has been outstanding for police, but he's not played most of the season. He's only played about six or seven games. And as a result of that, we are compelled to pick Buoneka Udangamu as your most consistent number eight of uh, the season. Uh, there's quite a bit of debate also for the number nine position. Kavita De Costa has been good. Rahul De Silva has been very good also for uh, Havelocks. But we picked the guy who really made a difference in this candy team, especially after Fazil Marija was absent, and that is Roshan Viraratna. He controlled a lot of games, made a lot of defensive uh, hits, and really was a good man manager and game manager as well. So Roshan, the experienced man, gets our nod at number nine. At number 10, uh, Nigel Ratpatta is uh, the man who gets our nod. He was obviously second fiddle to Fazil uh, Marija, but let's not forget that Fazil missed a lot of that uh, last uh, half of the season. As a result of that, Nigel really took his uh, opportunity when it was given to him, and Ratpatta turned out to be a match winner for uh, uh, Candy on more than one occasion, and he scored in the final game of the season as well. He's been kicking the points. He's been distributing really well. He's been kicking out of hand. Well, his defense has been outstanding also, and and his attacking play has really come to the fore. So he's taken the opportunity with both hands. And for that, Nigel Ratpatha is recognized as our number 10. Ashan De Costa was good. Ashan Bandara was good. Niroshan Fernando missed almost the whole season as well as did Tarinder Ratpatha. But Nigel uh, Ratpatha is our pick at number 10. Uh, Richard Dharmapala, not a lot of wingers scored tries this season. But Richard is one of those who did. Uh, seven tries for Richard Dharmapala on the left wing for Candy, among a richness of talents for in the Candy back but uh, we had quite a few debates
debates as to which winger to pick. Nobody really impressed too much, and Richard is uh, the one who heads that pack. At number 12, also Gaan Viraratna was one of our front runners, but again, he missed quite a few games. Musin Falil was a guy who impressed for Navy. He was consistent, he scored tries, but most often his uh, kicking out of hand and his defensive work as a first receiver as well uh, was something that uh, really impressed us this season. He's a guy who's an underrated player, and uh, although Gaan Viraratna is experienced, we thought we'll give the nod this time to Musin Falil. And uh, Dinushan Aryapala joins him as our centre partner. Dinushan has been really outstanding for Army. He's been that top try scorer in uh, the backs. He's been very incisive. He's uh, been very good defensively as well. And we thought a new name would be good on the team sheet because there were not a, not a lot of other 13s. If you look at Havelocks, if you look at CRNFC, if you look at Police, they were shuffling their number 13 position around a lot. So Dinushan Aryapala was the one who played consistently in that position and impressed us. On the other wing, we have uh, an unheralded name, Sudharaka Dikkumara of Army with lightning pace. He's only a small guy but brilliant pace and a lot of strength and uh, he was able to show us a few glimpses of what he might be able to do if he was getting better service and uh, he joins our team at number 14 with five tries for the season and of course at fullback we didn't really have a lot of competition this was the one position that it was quite easy for us to pick uh, a candidate and that is the highest point scorer of the season and uh, one of the highest try scorers as well as well Tirunavira Singh picking up eight uh, tries and uh, being uh, the scorer of 146 points uh, this season so he's our fullback uh, from the Navy and he was pretty outstanding in the, in the last uh, quad, in the last half of the season as well. So uh, from that 15, Candy have six, Havelock Sports Club have three, Army have two, Police two, Navy two and a uh, few absentees also. CR don't have many players in there, no X-Factor players for CR. They had a few players who were almost there, maybe at second place, but uh, these are the clubs that provide our uh, 15 for the season. We hope you enjoy them. Uh, talk about it as much as you like, give us your opinions as well, send us your teams and we'll be happy to post it up on the Papare.com.